Today's video, we are looking at a cow who's heavily favoring her left front foot. If we take a look at that hoof as she's standing, we can see we've got a little bit of curvature on that inside claw, that medial claw, and the heel on that lateral is deeper, so we've got some imbalance there. This area right here is likely where this discomfort is coming from, so that's the area we're gonna address. But first, let's get this trim underway. As I mentioned, that lateral claw is higher in the heel, so we're gonna bring that down, and it's the inside part of this medial claw that's higher, so we're gonna take that down when we trim it. That's gonna balance this foot back out again. Now that I've got that trimmed up, this problem area becomes pretty obvious. Now your eyes might be drawn to this lateral claw in the area that I'm trimming right now. How do I know that that's not problematic? That's all, that spot right there is almost never a problem. All it is is just a spot where that axial wall meets the sole there, kind of opens up and traps debris, so that's why we clean that out. This area right here, this is where we're going to find the issue. I'm using my grinder right here to try to thin this area down a little bit. I know where the problem's gonna be, so I'm gonna thin that area down. It makes my knife work that much easier. You can see I'm taking a big area here, and you might wonder why are you cutting out such a big area when you don't know necessarily what's going on? But I kind of do. I know there's gonna be a big area of separation under here. I can tell that there's pressure in this claw right now, and you're gonna see that here very soon. A lot of the discomfort associated with these problems comes from that built up pressure that you saw right there. Now that we've got that relieved, she's gonna feel better almost instantly. But of course, our work is not done here. We need to free this area of loose hoof horn. Here's where the design of our hoof knives come in handy. We can use that hook to carefully lift that sole away as we make this cut. A couple interesting things to take note of here. You can see how tight this area of separation is held to that corium. It hasn't lifted away much yet, which makes it a little more difficult to remove, but we work through it. Another thing is to take note of is how deep this sole is. I get a lot of questions about how deep is that sole? How thick is the sole on a cow's foot? Well, you can get a good view of it with this particular angle. You can see we've got almost close to three quarters of an inch of sole left on here, which I'm gonna bring down a little bit because we're gonna be putting a block on that other claw to take the pressure off of this one. Next step here is I use this abrasive disc just to rough that sole up a little bit. Helps with my glue adhesion. Another question I get all the time is, is how much chlorhexidine do you go through in a month? Because yes, I do use a lot when I clean these areas up. However, I don't really treat that many problems. So it's not going to be that much. I actually go through about a gallon a month in total. Now that we've got this area cleared of loose horn, it's time for one final clean down, and then we're going to apply a salicylic acid wrap to help take care of the rest. This salicylic acid is going to serve three functions here. Number one, it's going to help clear up any more bacteria that might possibly be there. Number two, it's going to help exfoliate that area. And number three, may provide some pain relief to this area as well.
Now that we've got this wrapped up, we'll just clean up this excess glue with our grinder. We'll put this foot down and see how she likes sanding on it now. Now some cows, they like to have their head scratched. This one does not. In fact, she's saying, you're done. You're done. And she is correct. We are done as always. Thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.